Prosperity and Beauty by Gorgoroth. This has been requested for a while and someone, I think in my Discord server or the YouTube comments, I can't remember, but they wanted this as a full song and here it is. So the first thing you're gonna need is a guitar in C sharp standard. Chord number one, open A, seven on D and then nine on G. And then you wanna keep your first finger where it is, then place your little finger on the 10th fret of A, then your middle finger on the eighth fret of A, then your little finger on the 10th fret of D, then your ring finger on the ninth fret of D, keeping your middle finger where it is on the eighth fret. And now we change it to seven on A, nine on D, and then the open low E string. So here's all the chords together. So you just have to get used to changing one note at a time really, and just making sure you're using the right fingers. Then after playing this chord, which is just like an E power chord with an open low E, we have that same kind of movements as before, just changing one note at a time. Little finger, 10th fret of low E, keeping your first finger on the seventh fret of A. Then middle finger on the eighth fret of E, keeping the first finger where it is. Then playing this power chord shape here, eight and 10 on E and A. Then just playing this power chord shape here on the E string and the A string. So that's the first four bars. The next part is much simpler with just a few chord changes. Back to this A power chord shape here. Open A, seven, nine on A, D, G. Then little finger again on the 10th fret of A. First finger keeping where it is. Then playing this major dyad shape here. Eight and seven, just like before. And then we finish on this minor triad here. 10, eight and seven on E, A and D. So this is the first loop of the riff. Then on the second time round, we have this. So after playing this triad shape here, we play these three power chords. Eight and 10 on E and A, move it back one fret, then back up. So the whole riff. So here's the next riff. It follows this idea where one note changes each time. So you have an open A, then the seventh fret of D. Keeping the open A string as like this drone pedal thing. And we just change the notes. So the fretting will be seven, 10, nine, all on the D string. Just like that. Then add your middle finger on the eighth fret of A and play this tritone shape, eight and nine on A and D. Then after playing the tritone, we have a very, very similar variation to the ending of the first riff. Except this time we do not fret the ninth fret on the G string. So the second riff so far. Then 
the whole thing repeats and then it's just the same idea and ending as the previous riff where you have the triad and the three power chords. So here's the whole of the second riff. And then the first riff just repeats again, and then we go into the groovy breakdowny bit. Here's the middle section of the song. Now live, I've seen Gorgoroth play this, and even Telok plays this in his playthrough video. He permutes the three strums on the chords. That's the live version, but the recorded version has this. So if you want to play along live, remember to permute the three chords at the end. But if you're playing along with the studio version, it's... And now let's break it down. So we just strum the power chord and then pick from high E to G. So you just want to place a little finger on the third fret of B. Then pick from B to D. Then the last part, slide your hand up one fret, then play the open A, three and three on D and G. The second part. It's the same idea, just strumming the A power chord, picking from high E to G, but then we play open three, three, then open five, five. So we just move our hand up. Then the first part just repeats again, and then you've got the two power chords, just like I said before. Strum, then two palm mutes on each chord. First one's the F, then the B flat. And here's the whole riff. Then that just repeats for ages, and then you've got this big build up with the A chord. And now we're moving on towards the ending of the song. So we go back to this power chord that we played at the beginning with the open A. 0, 7, 9 from A to G. And then it changes to this abath shape F chord, which is 8, 7, and 10 on the same strings. Then we go back to that first A chord. Then we take that abath shape, move it two frets up, so it's 10, 9, and 12. Move it two frets down. The whole riff is played like this. So now we have this lead line and the time signatures change from 4-4 four, four to 3-4. Four. So instead of counting to 4, you just need to count to 3. Let's go through the notes. 10, 9, 7 from B to D. Same strings, 8, 9, 10. Then we have 8 on A, then 9 and 10 on D. Then 9, 10, 7. And then we have the ninth fret of D, then 10 and 7 on A. Second time round, it's all the same except for the ending. Here's where it changes. 10, 9, 10, 10 on A, 9, 10 on D. It's just that one bar that changes and I'll play the whole riff again. And over the lead line we have these rhythm guitars. That first chord, 5 and 3 on E and A. 
So move your first finger down to the second fret. Then on that final beat in the next bar, you want to move your finger up to the third fret again. Then we have the F power chord, one and three on E and A. And then we have this. So it's just a G dyad here, three and two. We take our first finger off on the second beat. So it's quite a quick chord change. Then just play that E power chord there. Then we go back to that epic riff. But in this repeat, guitar number two just changes one chord. And what we do is we just play the F chord in a different place, which is three and five on D and G. So that whole section goes like this. And now onto the final riff of the song. So it's all palm muted with 16th notes. I'm just going to highlight all the note changes. So this whole riff, 0780, 8787, 0870, then two power chords, G, 3 and 5, then G sharp, 4 and 6, both on E and A. And you just want to play in 16th notes, all palm muted. Then that final chord, just an A power chord, 5 and 7 on E and A. Hold it for a couple beats and slide down. That was Prosperity and Beauty. Remember, if you'd like to make suggestions for more riff or song lessons, please comment below. Big thank you to everyone on Patreon, Discord, YouTube members, people who comment, people who like, people who have subscribed. You're the best. Thank you.